Looking for a place to rent on Cape Cod this summer? You may have more choices and more time to find what's best for your family. Hmm. Now, it's April. It's just months away from summer. That has a nice ring to it. <laughs> and a fair number of rentals on the Cape are still available. Yeah, this isn't something that we've seen in years. No. And WBZ's Mike Sullivan joins us live in studio now with uh, the reasons why here, Mike. Yeah, if you avoided the pricey Cape rentals in the past, this may be your year to take a vacation as prices have been dropping the last few years and that trend is expected to continue. Cape Cod is teeming with rental properties. The Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce says there is more than 18,000 short-term rentals on the Cape. They say that sum is more than New York City. Part of the reason for the spike is COVID. People fled to the Cape and bought homes to escape pandemic lockdowns. Now that COVID has slowed down, the chamber says more people are renting or selling. This increases inventory and helps the price go down. If we look at the chamber numbers for July, the average rental price spiked in 2021 to almost $400, then dropped $100 the next year. Experts are calling it an overcorrect in the market that they expect to continue. While the prices are dropping, demand on the Cape remains sky high. Occupancy rates have been dropping the last three years while inventory continues to boom. There will be 2,000 more rental properties this year alone. Desiree Antonio owns two properties, one in Sandwich and a newer one in East Sandwich. This year they left their rates flat. Their new spot in East Sandwich sits right in the water while their Sandwich property is closer to shops and restaurants. This newer property, we've only had it just a few months. Um, I would say it's not booking as fast, even though we have had some traffic. I think that's probably due to a lot of saturation in the market. The Antonios still have availability in key months like July and August. They expect to be booked up, but believe property owners will have to work a little harder to appease potential renters. Well, prior to COVID, the average price in July was $272 a night, and we're continuing to drop toward that gnome. Norm, sorry, back to you, David and Lisa. All right, Mike Sullivan, thank you so much.